Missouri Online Ground School. It's day 29 of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. What is happening, Missouri Online Ground School? Jason back with Jamie once again. Check in down below. Jamie, this is like the finish line is in sight. We'd run this Almost marathon. It's oh like, yeah. It's like right there. I'm a little winded, but we got this. We got this, right? Yeah. 29 for 29, check in down below. And I'm uh, just really excited Jamie's doing this video with us. We're talking weather radar. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it should be so simple, like, you know, they're green and yellow and it's colors and avoid the colors and all this stuff, but it's yeah. more complex than that. Yes. Could you talk about weather radar? And remember, Jamie, from the other videos, professional airline pilot, right? Living, living the dream, many of you want to live <laughs> one day. How does radar, how do you use radar in the airlines? And then we'll relate that back to general aviation. Sure. Yeah, the general aviation aspect, you're using more or less the next rad, mm -hmm. where it's just painting what could be coming from the satellite feed. Right. Um, could be a little bit delayed, where the weather radar that I use in my airplane is going to be painting. It's, it's a Doppler-like weather radar, where it's painting exactly what it sees out in front of it. It's projecting out the beams, bringing it back in to receive, ultimately, what it is painting out there. Sure. Um, that can help me It's because it's real time, yeah. but it can also hurt me. So uh, if you use it improperly, like if you, because the weather radar is able to tilt up, tilt down to mm -hmm. kind of benefit you with what you're looking at. If you tilt it too far down, you will actually paint the ground because well, it's going to re return that and beam. Reflect so, and yeah. everything else. So if, but if you point it too high, you may be missing what's actually out in front of you. So right. you kind of have to use it properly and point it out towards the weather that you are flying towards. Right. And I will also say uh, there could be limitations that are sure. with that as well. So one thing we have is called radar attenuation where mm -hmm. it could be painting a huge storm right in front of you. And then whenever you paint that huge storm, there may be another storm behind it because uh -huh. all that energy is being absorbed by that first one. Right. It's going to miss that one behind you. So it's kind of like a and little sucker fine. Yeah, you think you're finding a hole or something like that. But, yeah. Well, and that's the thing I want to talk about too. So you have on board, you know, you have Wi-Fi and everything else. So you have radar that shows up on your display or your tablet or whatever it is, yeah. plus this Doppler-like ra onboard radar, we'll call yeah. it. Yeah. Do those ever differ? They do. Yeah. They do. Absolutely yeah. they do. So that's that's. I want to use as much tools as possible. Yes. So I, I compare to what they're doing to right. find the best possible opportunity to fly through whatever weather I'm navigating. Yeah, and, and that's why I want the Emzer Nation to really understand. Like, I'll use ADSB weather as well as uh, XM Sirius weather. And those two can be very different. And by the way, did you know an eight minute radar return, meaning the data you're seeing is eight minutes old, is considered a fast return. So you got people like, oh, I'll find a hole in the weather. Well, that hole was there eight minutes ago <laughs> in the best case scenario. Yes. It could be up to 16. You can only see that kind of on whatever EFB you're using. You can see how delayed the weather is and go, hey, you're looking for a hole that was there 20 minutes ago. And weather's yep. moving and it's, say it's summertime mm -hmm. and the storms are just moving so much. I, I heard someone say once, Jamie, uh, it's only green on the radar, so I'm, I'm good to go. And unfortunately, people get away with that. Yes. Because you're right, back to your tilt. Mm -hmm. It's just showing precipitation in the atmosphere. Yeah. So I have been flying before where it's, you're right, it's green on the radar and I'm flying and it's VFR, but the precipitation is just above me. It's just not heavy enough to fall yet. Mm -hmm. And there's been times where, oh, it's fallen and it's green on the radar and I wish I wasn't in that green. Absolutely. Like you cannot make these blanket statements. If it's green, I'm going. Yeah. Like you just, you can't say those things. Mm -mm. Plus different apps paint the intensities differently as well. Oh yeah. So you got to think of all these different things. Radar is an amazing tool, but it's just that. It is a tool to utilize. And in fact, we, as you see, professional pilots and just a guy flying GA, like we have two sources of, mm -hmm. of weather radar as well. So be thinking about that. We'd love to hear your questions, your comments. You may have, maybe you have an experience, like where it was green on the radar, it was great one time and not so great the next time. Let us know in the comments down below. Check in 29 for 29. The finish line is nearly here. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, the compile is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you.